Hello everybody, JCC2224, taking a look at the brand new 6-inch Black Series Tuscan Raider figure, both released in the single boxed line and also the 40th anniversary collection. And it's a really, really good figure, and instead of just normally reviewing it, I decided to compare it with the, what is it, like over 10 years old, the 3 quarter inch uh, Vintage Saga Collection Tuscan Raider, which is one of my personal favorite 3 quarter inch Star Wars figures. Now, if you don't know me, I like Tuscan Raiders. There are some of my favorite kinds of uh, creatures and, you know, aliens in the Star Wars universe. I just love the design. And with 6-inch Black Series, I'm very skeptical with the line. I'm not a huge fan of it. I think a lot of characters don't suit the scale. But the Tuscan Raider here is mind-blowingly nice. However, the old Tuscan Raider is also very nice, and I wanted to compare both of them and just, you know, take a look, see which one is kind of better for the scale. I just wanted to take a look, because this thing is also getting a Black Series re-release at Walmart very, very soon. So you're going to have the option if you want a Tuscan Raider figure between the 3 quarter inch or the 6 inch. So let's take a look at the 3 quarter inch figure first, because it doesn't have as much going on. Taking a look at the Tusken Raider here that was released with the Movie Heroes line back in 2013, you can see he comes with a gaffy stick, which is pretty typical, you know, it's just a gaffy stick, nothing special, and also the Tusken Rifle, which is pretty nice looking, I do like the details on that. Now, because this is the Movie Heroes release, it does have some slightly different paint than the original Vintage Saga Collection one. You can see, especially on the head, the wraps aren't as colorful, they're more muted and flat on the Movie Heroes release. But it's a really good figure overall, I have three of it. And uh, for the articulation on it, well, you can see without the cloak, he has a ball-jointed neck, ball-hinged shoulders. He has swivel elbows, and a lot of people don't like this joint, but I've never had a problem with it. You can always get the, the necessary bend you really need out of it. You know, it, it gets 90 degrees, actually not exactly 90, but it still gets enough for what you really need. I've never had an issue with that joint. Swivel at the wrist that's kind of stuck on that side. Swivel at the waist. Swivels at the hips that can move pretty much all the way forward. He does have knees that bend pretty good. You can see underneath there. And he has pretty decent uh, ball-jointed ankles, too. So overall, for a figure this old, the only articulation people would probably say isn't that good is the swivels at the elbows. But personally, it doesn't matter how it's done. It only matters that it works. And I think these elbows work really well. I've never had an issue posing this guy. I, I just don't see an issue with the elbows. What do you... What are you missing out on? They bend, they work. Maybe having them bent outward? I don't know. It's it's fine for me. Now, the cloak is removable, and let's take a look at that. So, the cloak itself is very frayed. It's a lighter tan, pretty frayed, but it's supposed to be frayed. It comes frayed. Pretty solid material. I'm not afraid to tear it or anything. Uh, it goes in the arms okay. You can see it has, like, multiple holes on the side, though, so it's not fully stitched. So, you might have to be careful about which hole the actual arm goes into. Put it in the upper hole. Overall, cloth is pretty good. I like it. And it's also uh, the exact same cloth used on the skirt there. And you can see underneath right there. So that's pretty much it with the 3 quarter inch one. Really solid figure in my opinion. So this masterpiece then. Uh, you can see it poses very, very well. This is a great pose. And he comes with the gaffy stick as you would expect. However, you see that tip there? It's a different tip than the gaffy stick with the 3 quarter inch one. However... You can give it the 3 quarter inch gaffy stick alternate piece on the top, and you can give it this different design for the gaffy stick. Three different options for that stick. Really, really great. And, of course, it does come with the Tuscan rifle, which is, uh, unlike most of Black Series figures, very, very nicely painted. Very nicely done accessory. Also, he does have cloth goods that I'm not going to remove all the way. Uh, you can kind of see the arms, how they're done. But it's a pretty nice material. Like I said, also does have the fraying on it. But unlike the three and three quarter inch one, something I don't like that Black Series does is the legs. It's plastic. It's a plastic cloak, and I, I just don't like it. It feels kind of cheap. Feels it, it really inhibits what you do with it. And I think it looks perfectly fine on the three and three quarter inch one. So why don't they do it on the six inch too? Uh, th this other cloak, though, this upper one. It, it lays really, really nice. It, it lays way, way nicer than the 3 and 3 quarter inch one. As much as I love this figure, the, the scale just really struggles with soft goods. This beautiful head sculpt has a really good range of motion. It can move up fairly well, can move down fairly well as well. Uh, to get it kind of looking up, you have to work with both the hinge and the ball joint, and even then it's kind of off to his side, but still it's a Tuscan Raider. It's not going to be all nice and straight. It does have the typical ball hinges at the arms, you know, nothing special. Ball hinges at the wrist. Unfortunately, because Hasbro doesn't know what kind of hinges to use with the wrists, it has the in and out wrist here, so good luck at getting any decent pose with this rifle, though. It's just, 
it needs the it needs this joint and it just doesn't have it very frustrating good luck getting any decent pose out of this that's actually shooting or firing cuz yeah it's mostly just going to be like upward that's really that's the only issue i can find with this thing besides more of a personal preference but still i don't like it very nice placement of the ball joint at the waist unlike the very odd placement for lando really good crunch too i'm surprised very nice crunch there now this is where stuff gets kind of difficult because you got to lift this up and you can see yeah it can move outward pretty good can move forward nice without the plastic just putting the plastic down yeah to get it moving forward like that that's what the plastic's going to look like and if you want him to sit down good luck because he has this and i don't really like damaging or bending the plastic because if you keep him in a pose like that for a while it will show it does have uh of course the thigh swivel uh it does have the double jointed knees that are kind of weird they have very soft detents and kind of shifting this off to the side so you can see it through the crack uh it does go in all the way there so that's pretty decent also very very nice ankle just superb ankle and you have eyes so you can see all of these bandages and straps and just just all of this on his head it looks stunning uh this the, the where it should have been cloth looks kind of weak to me i like this under sculpting though i think that's pretty nice but yeah that looks a little weak to me i really like the look of this this fabric is so nice looking and it is kind of connected to the top there so i wouldn't really try to take it off just just a masterpiece of a figure. I, I'm i not a huge fan of 6-inch Black Series, but this thing is... It's it's just a must-own. It's fantastic. Hasbro blew my mind with this thing. I'm I'm stunned it's so great. I'm, I'm absolutely stunned. It's it's like the quality of a NECA figure, paint and sculpt-wise, in, like, a Funko collection. You know, because Funko ain't that big with the sculpt and paint. It's It's crazy. It's crazy, this thing, I, I gawk at it. I wish it was mine, I'm borrowing this from my brother. I, I need this in my life, now. So there you go guys, there's my comparison of both the new 6 inch Black Series Tusken Raider and the original Vintage Saga Collection 3 and 3 quarter inch Tusken Raider. Both of them are really good figures. I'd say this is a pretty strong comparison, even given the 11 year separation of them. However, I prefer the colors, the soft goods, and the overall sculpt and paint on the new 6 inch one. I really wish that it had soft goods on the skirt there, however, I'd say the 3 and 3 quarter inch one is still pretty solid all around. I have no issue with it. So yeah, if you're going to get one or the other, get the 6 inch, but if you like Tusken Raider, Raiders, there is no harm in getting both. Both of them are pretty good. Uh, so yeah, guys, that is it. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Check my Facebook and Instagram pages if you have a chance. Have a good day, guys, and as always, may the Force be with you. Bye.